In the year 2000, a film thundered into theatres and claimed its place in cinematic history. Gladiator, a tale of courage, betrayal, and revenge, captivated audiences around the world. But have you ever wondered where the stars of this epic masterpiece are now? How have the last 24 years treated the warriors of the Colosseum? Today, we're taking a thrilling chariot ride back in time and then catapulting into the present to explore the astonishing transformations of the gladiator, cast from the dusty arenas of ancient Rome to the dazzling lights of modern fame. Join us as we unveil the then and now of these legendary actors. Some have ascended to new heights in Hollywood, while others have taken paths less traveled. Prepare to be surprised, inspired, and maybe a little nostalgic. Russell Crowe, 59 years old. Russell Crowe is a famous actor known for his role as Maximus in the movie Gladiator. He was 36 years old during the filming of Gladiator. Born in Wellington, New Zealand, and his parents were involved in the film industry. Crowe became famous for playing various roles in movies such as L.A. Confidential, The Insider, and A Beautiful Mind. He has also acted in other films like Master and Commander, Cinderella Man, and 310 to Yuma. Crowe almost played the role of Aragorn in Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings trilogy, but he had to turn it down due to a struggle with another movie he was filming. He also refused to play in X-Men because he thought the character was too similar to Maximus from Gladiator. He appeared in both the DC and Marvel universes. He plays Jor-El, the father of Clark Kent, in Zack Snyder's Man of Steel, and as Zeus in the Marvel Cinematic Universe film Thor, Love and Thunder. Apart from acting, Crow is a 59-year-old family man and has two children. He is currently reprising his role as Maximus in the upcoming Gladiator 2 movie, which will also star Denzel Washington. Joaquin Phoenix, 49 years old. Phoenix portrays Commodus in the film Gladiator, and he was 26 years old at the time. He is a famous actor who was born on October 28, 1974, in Puerto Rico. He started his career in the entertainment industry with his brother River in the early 1980s. Joaquin became famous for his roles in many movies such as Signs, Hotel Rwanda, Walk the Line, Her, Inherent Vice, and Joker. In his personal life, Joaquin is a vegan and a strong animal rights activist. He has produced documentaries on global meat consumption and the negative impact it has on the environment. Joaquin supports many charitable causes and has received several awards for his work. Joaquin has many upcoming movies such as Joker, Folia 2, Polaris, The Island, Eddington, and an untitled Todd Haynes film. He is a talented actor and is beloved by his fans all over the world. He has received various accolades, including an Academy Award, a British Academy Film Award, a Grammy Award, and two Golden Globe Awards. In 2020, the New York Times named him one of the greatest actors of the 21st century. Connie Nielsen, 58 years old. Connie Nielsen plays Lucilla in the Gladiator film, and she was 35 years old during the filming. She is a talented Danish actress who has made a name for herself in Hollywood. She began her acting career in local reviews and variety shows, and later worked as an actress and model in Paris. She has starred in several notable movies like Wonder Woman, Mission to Mars, and The Ice Harvest. She has also had TV roles in popular dramas like Law and Order, Special Victims Unit, Boss, The Following, and I Am the Night, among others. In addition to her acting skills, Connie is multilingual, being fluent in several languages including Danish, Swedish, Norwegian, English, French, German, Italian, and Spanish. She has had a colorful personal life as well having been in a relationship with Italian actor Fabio Sartor during her stay in Italy from 1988 until 1994. Nielsen is 58 years now and mother of two children, Sebastian Sartor and Bryce Thaddeus Ulrich Nielsen. She is also reprising her role of Lucilla in the upcoming Gladiator 2, along with the rest of the cast. Oliver Reed, 1938-1999 Robert Oliver Reed was a famous English actor who appeared in many films throughout his career. He started his career in Hammer Horror Films in the 1960s and went on to star in many notable movies, including Oliver, Women in Love, Gladiator, and many others. 
Reed was known for his role as Antonius Proximo in Gladiator, which was his final film at the age of 61. He was posthumously nominated for the BAFTA Award for Best Actor in a supporting role in 2000 for this role. He was severely injured and almost died during the filming of The Three Musketeers, 1973, when he was stabbed in the throat during the windmill duel scene. At the peak of his career, he was voted the fifth most popular star at the box office by British exhibitors. However, Reed's alcoholism affected his career in the mid-1970s. He died of a heart attack in a bar after drinking several bottles of rum, beer, whiskey, and cognac, and beating younger Royal Navy sailors at arm wrestling. His bar bill for that final lunchtime totaled 270 Maltese Lira, almost pound 450, about $594.72. Richard Harris, 1939 to 2002. Marcus Aurelius was played by Richard Harris when he was 61 years old. Born on October 1, 1930, Richard Harris was a distinguished actor who left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Initially, he turned down the role of Commodus in The Fall of the Roman Empire in 1964, but later played Marcus Aurelius Commodus's father in Gladiator, forming a lasting friendship with Russell Crowe. Harris rose to fame during the British New Wave and received acclaim for various roles, including in This Sporting Life and The Field, earning two Academy Awards nominations. His diverse career spanned classics like The Guns of Navarone and Harry Potter, where he took on the iconic role of Albus Dumbledore. Concerning his role as Dumbledore in the Harry Potter films, Harris had stated that he did not intend to take the part at first since he knew that his health was in decline, but he relented and accepted it because his 11-year-old granddaughter threatened never to speak to him again if he did not take it. Harris, a Golden Globe winner, also showcased his musical talents with the hit MacArthur Park. He died on October 25, 2002. His legacy remains etched in the annals of cinema, celebrated for his acting prowess and versatile contributions. Spencer Treat Clark, 36 years old. Clark plays Lucius Verus in Gladiator. He was 13 years old during the filming, born on September 24, 1987. He started acting in 1995, and his first appearance was on a TV show called Another World. His first movie role was in Arlington Road. Clark became famous for his roles in movies like Gladiator, 2000, and Unbreakable, 2000. He has also appeared in other popular movies like Mystic River, 2003, The Last House on the Left, 2009, Much Ado About Nothing, 2012, and Glass, 2019. He has also acted in TV shows like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Animal Kingdom. Clark is now 36 years old, and he enjoys traveling, photography, and being outdoors. He has appeared in two modern-day adaptations of plays by William Shakespeare, Joss Whedon's Much Ado About Nothing, 2012, and Michael Almereda's Cymbeline, 2014. Interestingly, Clark shares the same birthday as Sven Ol Thorsen, who was his co-star in Gladiator, 2000. As of 2023, Clark has acted in two movies that were nominated for the Best Picture Oscar, Mystic River and Gladiator. The Gladiator, 2000, won the award. Tommy Flanagan, 58 years old. Flanagan plays Cicero in Gladiator, and he was 35 years old during the filming. He is a Scottish actor who has appeared in various popular movies and TV shows. You might recognize him as Philip Chibbs Telford from Sons of Anarchy, Morrison from Braveheart, Tulk from Guardians of the Galaxy Vol 2, Arthur Shelby Sr. from Peaky Blinders, and Williamson from All About the Benjamins. He has played two different characters in Braveheart and Sons of Anarchy who both seek revenge after their wives are taken away from them. He got a famous scar on his face while he was walking home after a DJ gig, and he was attacked by a group of people who cut him with a knife. In Scotland, where he's from, the scar is often called the Glasgow Smile. Interestingly, he played the character Scarface in The Saint early in his career. He is currently 58 years old, and he has been married to Dinah Livingston since 2010. Giannina Fascio, 68 years old. Gladiator was the first of two films in which she plays the wife of Russell Crowe's character, the other being Body of Lies. She was 45 years old during the filming of Gladiator. 
born on September 10, 1955. Her father was a diplomat from Costa Rica, and they lived in Guatemala for many years. Facio appeared in many movies, especially those directed by her husband, Sir Ridley Scott, who is from Britain. She has acted in all of Ridley Scott's movies except for two, American Gangster and The Martian. One of her most famous movies was White Squall. She is 68 years old now. Jimon Hunsu, 59 years old. Jimon Hunsu played Juby in the original Gladiator. He is 36 years old at that time and expressed hope earlier this year that he would get to reprise his role in the upcoming sequel. He is an actor who was born on April 24, 1964. He is originally from Benin and appears in the Marvel Cinematic Universe where he played the character Korath the Pursuer in movies like Guardians of the Galaxy, Captain Marvel, and What If? He has also appeared in the DC Extended Universe as the Fisherman King in Aquaman and as the wizard Shazam in movies like Shazam, Black Adam, and Shazam, Fury of the Gods. Apart from these, he has acted in many other notable films such as Stargate, Constantine, The Island, Special Forces, How to Train Your Dragon 2, Furious 7, The Legend of Tarzan, and A Quiet Place Part 2. He had a difficult start in life, coming to Paris from Benin at a young age and struggling to find work. He ended up homeless, sleeping under bridges and searching through garbage cans for food. However, things took a turn for the better when a fashion designer named Thierry Mugler discovered him and made him a fashion model. Today, he is 59 years old and a proud father. He is currently working on some exciting projects that are set to release in 2024, including Gladiator 2, A Quiet Place, Day 1, and Rebel Moon. Part 2, The Scar Giver. So this was all about today's video. If you enjoyed watching the video, please hit a like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.